Okay, so um, here's another test ride I'm doing. So I'm just taking this out from Bill Smith's. And I'm just in Huntingdon at the moment, just about to go down to Farndon on some nice country roads. But this is a 1050 Tiger Sport. Mm, loads of cyclists. Um, yeah, nice bike. Looks looks very nice. Good looking bike. Because what I want to do, and I think I said it on the KTM test ride I did, I want to do a... I want to replace the two bikes that I've got. Or I'm looking at replacing the two bikes that I've got with something a bit more practical than what they call the tall rounder. So it's a... It's like a comfy sit-up, but with road tyres and decent performance. So this is a, this is the newer Tiger. This is the Tiger Sport, and this has got the, I think it's a 125 brake horsepower engine in it. Okay, want to get cleaned up. It sounds great being a triple. Mm, it's quite windy, isn't it? It's got plenty of go. It's not as nimble as the um, KTM I took out, it's uh, quite sure footed, yeah it's quite slow steering, takes quite a bit of effort to chuck it in but this motor's got tons of grunt, it's basically the same engine that's in the speed triple. So good. The air seems to be getting quite property with the standard screen in this position. I don't know if it's uh, adjustable. And it feels very um, uh, wallowy is not the word because it's not wallowy. It handles it very well but it's just a bit Maybe I just need to get used to it. It's a little bit, a little bit ponderous. But it's certainly not lacking in in grunt. Yeah, the transition on and off the throttle is um, it, it's quite it unsettles the suspension a little bit and I know the KTM did it but it was I don't know the KTM didn't seem to get unsettled by it but it's certainly a very he could live with this bike very easily and as I said it's got plenty of grunt Yeah, that's uh, quite quick actually. Just watch my speed. This is a lovely little village, Alford. First ever telephone exchange I ever went in was a UAX 13 just up the road there. And I came with my dad and I must have been about eight or nine. And my dad had to do, I think he was in planning and he had to go and do, I don't know what he was doing but I had to go with him, I remember going in the old um, Ford Anglia to Alford Telephone Exchange ok, let's give it a blip after this yeah, 
Yeah, quite um, quite a bit of transition. Certainly isn't slow. <laughs> Yeah, this engine's lovely. I'd like to try it in a speed triple. Yeah, it's a bit loose, to be honest. Maybe the suspension could be tweaked, but it's just not... It hasn't got that intuitive feel that the KTM had, but I think it's got more grunt. I don't know though, I could, um, I really need to try the KTM on roads like this. But the overriding feature of this bike is certainly its engine. I've only really tried the 1050 in, um, uh, I rode a Sprint, an ST, Sprint ST, which I wasn't very impressed with. I, do, I, I just didn't gel with it at all. But this is alright, I like this. Would I buy one? I don't know. I think my um, R1100S handles better. Oh, what's going on? Yeah, it's got plenty of pickup. Quite wallowy though. It's comfy, very comfy. It's got adequate wind protection. You probably have to put one of those little lips on it. Brakes work fantastically well. I don't know, they're Brembo's. little bike shop. You'd need a raw to your pipe, I can't actually hear that lovely um, triple engine once you get going, it gets hidden by all the wind roar. Oh bugger it's starting to rain. But it's comfy, it's all day comfy. I'm going to try the Yamaha Tracer 900 after this. MT9, whatever it's called. Yeah, I see what all the fuss with the engines are, is with these now. This is the old Roman bridge it found in. Take this opportunity to wipe my visor a bit. Am I still recording? Yep. Yeah, you could cross continents on this thing. Yeah, they're quite, they're whistly, aren't they, these engines? So we're in Wales now, we've just crossed the border from England into Wales. Oh, poppies are out on the, uh, on the lamppost. 
1st of November on uh, Tuesday, I think it is. We're having a very mild, though not by Australian standards. like Viking longship. I'm sure the suspension could be tweaked but it's uh, as it is set up now it's like like a bloody pogo step but edge cutting slow down a bit yeah you've got to be really circumspect on these roads because of um, lots of farm stuff that's why I'm keeping it a bit uh, steady the last thing I want is a tractor pulling out on me picks up speed nicely yeah you could learn to ride it you could it's just when you go going above about 80 those corners are very you know wobbly wibbly wobbly but you get your confidence up and start chucking it around it's just not instantly accessible like the KTM was It doesn't inspire, you know, that uh, flat out. The quicker I go, the quieter I go. Hi, hi. Do the biker sideways nod. Yeah, the road surfaces are a bit yicky. Yeah, it goes. It's got plenty of plenty of poke. Lovely engine. And um, really good at you know lower speeds. It's just when it uh, gets a bit quicker, it's just a bit wibbly wobbly. I'm going to take it on some tighter lanes now and see how it is. But comfy nice looking bike from here you know it's got a decent dash and nice bars and it does all sorts of bollocks with different modes and things but yeah whatever 
information. What's that setup? Don't go there. It's got all that bollocks, but all it really needs is a set of heated grips. Yeah, and it sounds nice when you can hear it. This is the old Chester Wrexham Road. And they're quite, um, it's a 30 limit and um, you really need to uh, stick to it. It's nice. I could see myself getting a bit bored with it though, to be honest. It doesn't, um, doesn't lift my nighty. It's a very worthy bike. And very capable, but... At the end of the day, I want something that I enjoy riding better than the um, 1100S. And to be honest, at kind of those above 80 mile an hour speed, the, the, the um, 1100S is a much nicer ride. And I know I keep banging on about that KTM, but when I got off that KTM, all I thought about was, how can I get one? Yeah, so just don't feel this way about this. Probably got better tank range and got good two up um, accommodation on the back. I wanted to bring Jamie and um, give him a go on the back but uh, the bike insurance only covers you from Bill Smith, so it only covers you from for, um, just yourself. Yeah, out of it. Yeah, even this stuff feels a bit. I don't know, it feels a bit top heavy, but... I know it hasn't got a, a full tank, this, it's about half full, but it just feels a bit ponderous. You know, I'm not going quick, but it feels... <laughs> It doesn't feel it doesn't feel nimble like the uh, SMT, and it doesn't feel planted like the BM. Yeah, you've got to watch out for shit like that on these lanes. People pulling out on you. It's enjoyable, it's nice, but you know, I'm having a really good time. Eh? Oh, God, that stinks! Cow shit. Oof. Yeah, it's not quite. Uh, I don't know. Just yeah.
that doesn't feel natural. I'm pushing against it. There's a squirrel. Um, in that corner, I was really having to counter, not ca you know, like, yeah, I was ca having to counter steer quite hard. This is Doddleston, it's a lovely little village, this. It's not confidence inspiring somehow. Yeah, it's just not natural in the corners. I mean, it could be getting used to it, but oh, yeah, it's, I'm having to push, you know, like in, in the right handers, I'm having to give it quite a bit of right hand welly on the bars just to keep it dry but a glorious engine Okay, so summing up, I'm going to take the uh, camera off shortly. To... Nice bike, beautiful engine, beautiful, one of the best engines I've ridden behind. Uh, handling, not my cup of tea. Um, It feels top heavy. I would say that you could tweak the suspension, she probably could, but then you'd lose the, the long travel suppleness. But I think it's just... It's a bike with compromises. You'd, you'd be riding it, you'd have to be kind of setting yourself up for corners, which you, which you do anyway, but it's just... You know, if I'm going to change from the um, the R1100, which I like the handling of, I'd want something that's really, really sharp and spot on and kind of exciting to get on. This is the sort of bike that I'd love to commute on, but it's it's not the sort of bike that I'd get up on a Sunday morning and get really excited about riding. Whereas I think the SMT would. And I think at the end of the day, for what I use a bike for, that that's what's going to influence what I buy. Lovely bike though it is, I don't think it's going to be a Tiger Sport. I have to look down at the name of it there. <laughs> Which is written on the handlebars, if you forget. Alright, I'll just pull in here and take my camera off. Gravel nearly bloody dropped the fucker. That wouldn't be good.